Come on, Jesus, make it right, make it right. To God be the glory. 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 Listen, I know I've been without you all for uh two weeks now, but hey. Some things just got to be done. Amen. I bless God for all that he is doing. All that he is doing in spite of what it looks like. In spite of what it sounds like. In spite of who is saying it. I'm trusting God to do what God said he was going to do. So I'm asking you to tag, share, post, tag, share, post, tag, share, post your uh to your people right now we're going to close out do i really need god series yes we need god we see what's going on throughout the world we definitely definitely need god so i'm asking you to tag share post your people right now we go close it out i got some good scriptures for you to know how to uh listen to god's voice hear god's voice obey god's voice when it comes to us really seeking god amen i just want to encourage you in spite of what the world is showing us today in spite of what the world is showing us today i'm asking you to keep your face in god's face that is his book keep your hands to the plow that's in God's will amen I'm asking you to do that amen so that you will not be uh, swallowed up by the uh, the enemy because of what you've heard because of what you've seen because of what you know um, you're going through the devil is a liar let us open up in prayer amen father in the mighty matchless name of Jesus Lord I ask you right now oh God just to have your way i'm asking oh god because you are the father of all things the creator of all things oh god the knower of all things oh god the seer of all things oh god the hearer of all things oh god i'm asking oh father that you oh father oh god take control right now oh father of this broadcast in the mighty matchless name of jesus lord show yourself oh god clear show yourself oh god powerful show yourself oh god to these people that is watching now and who going to watch in the future that you are a god yet sitting high looking low and yet in control we thank you right now oh god for your your your, your faithfulness your faithfulness and forgiving us oh god for all the things that we've done against you ourselves, and your people thank you oh god for forgiving us oh father when we didn't obey your clear voice oh god when we questioned oh god what we heard clearly Clearly from you, oh God, forgive us, oh Father. Oh God, when we hesitated, oh God, to do what you called us to do, oh Father, forgive us, oh God, for having a doubting spirit, oh Father, not knowing who you were, oh God. and multiple times you showed us that you are yet with us, oh God. I'm asking, oh God, that you forgive us, oh Father, for the things, oh Father, that we place our mouth on, oh Father, disagreeing, oh God, what your word told us, oh Father, not believing and trusting in what your word said. God, I'm asking, oh Father, come into, the, oh God, my sanctuary right now, oh Father, touch not just myself, but touch those who are in here with me, oh Father, that's gonna, oh God, help me, oh Father. I'm asking, oh Father, I'm I'm asking, oh God, that you remove, oh Father, hesitation, doubt, fear, oh God. I'm asking, oh God, that you increase right now, oh Father, the faithfulness, the trust and belief in you. Sanctify this sanctuary right now, oh God. Fill it up with your Holy Spirit. Allow us, oh God, to surrender all to you, oh God. Submit to leadership right now, oh Father, so that we can be a servant to your people through this broadcast. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, Lord, I'm trusting your word from Genesis to Revelation, Revelation to Genesis. Genesis, oh Father, I'm believing, oh God, that it cannot come back void. So every word that is spoken on tonight, oh God, let it be from you, oh Father. Every, oh God, an application, uh, um, experience, oh God, that is shared, oh Father, let it be authentic, oh Father. We rebuke right now the spirit of offense, oh Father, and we, oh God, release your spirit to convict, oh Father. So they turn back unto you. Oh God, I'm asking, oh Father, do it, oh God, do it. I know you can do it. In Jesus' mighty matchless name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I told y'all, and I'm going to be obedient to the voice of the Lord, as he had told me when I first started this series that he told me to uh play praise music something to get us dancing and in the realm of giving him glory in advance for our victory amen and this song simply says follow me 
follow me to a place where we can be free right we don't have to look at all the things that's going on I know what independence said on 4th of July but you are independent as soon as you give your life to Christ amen it ain't talking about the wars that these uh, countrymen false teaching I ain't even gonna go into a history lesson we know the British did some stuff amen but God took the kids for that uh, battle on uh, Calvary before that battle even came so we was free when Jesus hung himself on that cross hallelujah when Jesus oh God took the nails to his hands oh father to his feet and put that thorny crown upon his head and was stabbed to the side we was free right then and there God, I bless you but oh God I thank you I'm asking that you don't go carnal you don't live carnal that you truly take into consideration all that Jesus has done for you and I today there has to be oh God I thank you there has to be some trials and tribulations in order for us to give God glory amen yes we can give it to him for the good things but the Bible tells us that we have to be thankful in all things father I thank you if you don't believe me travel over to uh, Thessalonians chapter 5 around the 17th verse something like that amen you got you have to know that God sees he hears he knows so it doesn't matter what it looks like because God sees it it doesn't matter what it sounds like because God hears it it doesn't matter how it's gonna happen because God already knows it so my question is not only do you need God you you need to trust God you need to have faith in God you have to believe in God no matter what what it looks like sounds like no matter what's going on you got to stay well grounded flat footed shoulders back head up father I bless you are you that soldier in the army of the Lord that we is talked about I'm just asking the question here are you about it about it when you say for God I live and for God I die I'm just asking the question here are you truly the one that God can trust Father, I thank you. When he says go over to that person, go over to that place, do that unfamiliar thing that I need you to do in my name. Father, I bless you. When it's in your name, that's when you get scared. When it's in your name, oh God, I bless you, Jesus. When it's in your name and you don't know what's, when you think that you know what's going to happen and it don't happen, it was all because of you doing what you wanted to do and not what God told you to do. Because anything that God placed us in, trust and believe, he go keep us. Hallelujah. Do anybody understand what I'm talking about? I'm just asking the question here. God, I thank you. When you sit back and you think about this thing, right? It does, he said he cannot, we can't, we can't even fathom what he thinks. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So I, I've been trying to explain to people, you know what? Don't even think about what he's doing. Then you can't, you can't even understand it. Don't why, why wreck your brain? Why beat yourself up? Why stay up at night? Why toss and turn all night? Why binge, binge eat? You you trying to figure out? I'm talking about myself. Why sit up there and just uh, be angry and mean and evil when you because you don't know what's going on? Ah. Huh? Uh huh. Do you trust God? Yeah, I trust them, Pastor Q. Nah, I don't know. Because every time a wind blows, you fall down. Father, I bless your holy name. Every time a storm comes, you, 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 you mess up. Amen. Father, I calm myself down. I calm myself down. I'm already in my lesson. Amen. Yeah, I'm my lesson. I bless God. I thank God. Um, my two uh, guests is going to come and sit next to me after this um, song. This was unplanned, unscript. We just go flow with the spirit. I said, yo, I need some help. Tough Talk Tuesday. Yeah, they looked at me kind of crazy, but guess what? They yes was yes. Hallelujah. Sometimes when you just obey the leader, what does the Bible say? You will have benefits that comes with it. You don't believe me, travel over over to Hebrews 13 verse 17 it says obey your spiritual leaders that will be benefit for you I ain't gonna say nothing else I'm just gonna play I'm just gonna play my little song is that all right y'all come on and rock with me a little bit amen just give God a little 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 uh bounce to it amen just uh give God some praise in advance 
whatever you have on your your uh, altar right now praise them in advance whatever you dealing with right now praise them in advance i'm telling you don't worry about it don't oh god i bless you don't worry about it instead pray about it that's what the bible says travel over to philippians 4 read it for yourself it says thank him for what he's already done and tell him what you need and then he will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding it tells us travel a little bit more it says fix your thoughts on things that's honorable fix your thoughts on things that is admirable father i bless you things that is joyful and then oh god he'll give you peace and then if you go to verse 13 and it tell you i can do all things through christ jesus that strengthens me that's all you got to do follow me that's all i'm just asking you to follow me just follow me just follow me just follow me as i, as I praise god can y'all rock with me just follow listen to the words y'all it's your dance in advance it's your praise dance in advance thank god for keeping our kids safe i know what's going on thank god for oh god healing thank god for peace thank god for his glory god i bless you thank god for his serenity god i bless you his sanctification hallelujah thank god for his holiness god i bless you thank god for his word mm. i dare you to follow me don i dare you to follow me roger i dare you to follow me follow me follow me follow me where we going follow me follow me yeah. i got a plate i'm hoping i'm just hoping y'all to see the day I'm looking and hoping for a day when my people with my people our brothers and sisters can all relate can we relate to one another we must stop fighting we must stop fighting to achieve the peace to achieve the peace y'all that was taught in our country that was taught in our country we shall all be free Anybody free? I'm just asking the question. Follow me. Why don't you follow me? I'm at a place of peace. I'm at a place of love. I'm at a place of joy. Come with me over there. Just 
allow God to use you to expand it. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Make it follow personal. Me. Follow God. Follow That's me. what he's saying. Follow me. Follow him. Follow me. Follow me. Don't talk Tuesday with Pastor follow Q. Me. I got a lesson for y'all. I do. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. See the day. I'm hoping to see the day when my people this Jesus speaking, y'all, can all relay. We must stop fighting. He said we must stop fighting. What are we fighting for? We gotta stay, stick together to achieve the peace. My God, my God. We already free, y'all. Accept them in your life, you'll be free. Listen to this. Hey, come with me, he's saying. Over there. No more interracial hatred. So much love. So much love is here. Can you feel it? It's in the air. It's in the air. It's time for change. It's time for change. Change it all. See it. Follow me. Follow me. This your victory dance in advance. Your victory dance in advance. Amen. I touched it by mistake, but oh well. This is what the word of God says. Amen. This is what the word of God says. In Matthew chapter 4, starting at verse 18. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Verse 19. Then he said to them, follow me, comma, and I will make you fishers of men. Y'all just heard the song, right? Follow me, right? Follow me. Who are we following? Are we following God? God, what you mean, Pastor Q? I'm glad you asked. Are we following his voice? Are we following his spirit? Are we following his word? I'm just asking a question. Who are you following? Because you need him. Who are you following? He says, if you follow me, I will make you fishers of men. Right? So, okay, if you say you're following God and you're doing, you know, the best that you can, because a lot of us, we say, well, Pastor Q, I say it too. God's still working on me. Yes, he is. He is. But there should be some improvement. That should not be your backdrop to everything that you're doing wrong. If you know that there is something wrong in you and God is still working on you, there should be a change in what is being, is being done. Amen. You should not be stuck. Father, without a change and still saying, God is working on me. Are you sure God working on you? Because if God is working on you, trust and believe it's going to be a change. Don't nobody want to talk to me right now. Amen. If, if God is working on you, you're not going to uh, uh, reject his rebuke. You're not going to uh, uh, deny his, his correction. You're not going to, oh, God, help me right now. You're not going to denounce who he is when he tells you you are my child and this is what you are supposed to be doing so my question is are you truly trusting and believing and needing God because guess what if we was to be honest and open with ourselves we would truly say I can't do this without God oh God I can't do it without you if you are not here with me to show me how to do it to correct me when I don't do it let me say that again to show me how to do it here you go and correct me when I don't do it I'm gonna say that one more time show me how to do it and correct me when I don't do it because there's a lot of things that we know we not supposed to do 
and we do it any, anyway. And then there's some things that we know we're supposed to do and we don't do. Father, help me up in here. So when you sit back and you think about this thing right here, what is we need God? We need him. We need him. I said we need him. Amen. So the Bible, I'm just reading the word of God. It says they, verse number 20, Matthew chapter 4, verse number 20, it said they immediately, come on, keyword, immediately left their nets and followed him. Father, help me right here. They immediately left their nets and followed him now when you sit back and think about that thing right there keyword immediately immediately they had it they did it right then and there immediately he they did it right they didn't say well let me think about it here you go this is often this is often backdrop i gotta pray about it <laughs> they ain't tell jesus raj they ain't tell jesus they ain't say i gotta pray about it they ain't say wait i gotta think about it they ain't say wait let me fast i'm coming for you devil they ain't say all these excuses here you go and the reason why i say i'm coming for you devil because oftentimes we'll use here you go that spiritual talk amen not even spiritual because if it was spiritual then it will be connected to God here you go that religious talk yeah correct me Holy Ghost you'll be religious you'll be religious in your talk to say why you're not going to immediately follow God why is that I'm glad you asked because God says right here in his word he said to them follow me that's a directive comma and conjunction which means there was a command and a conjunction that was with it and it says i will that's a promise i will make you fishers of men so there's some there was a command there was the directive there's the promise we want the promise automatically not wanting to follow the direction or receive the command yeah i'm talking to you when you sit back and you think about this thing uh they immediately immediately left their nets get this talk to me holy ghost they left their jobs don't nobody want to leave their job uh-huh yeah i'm coming for you they left their jobs immediately that was their income that was their profit and, and their, their, their profit their income that that was their livelihood and get this they didn't even know who jesus was talk holy ghost talk they did not know who jesus was in here because of that spiritual connection uh uh guess what they had to believe in them uh-huh they had to trust them yeah i bless you they had to know something on the inside was stirring up because they left their job pastor q i need to put food on the table he showed jesus showed them <laughs> how to put food on the table he gave them instructions everything that jesus gave was the 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 hope the love the trust the belief he always told them you gotta have faith in this thing and when you don't have the faith that's when you fail father i thank you that's when you fail to obey when you don't have faith you fail say that to yourself when i don't have faith I'm going to say it again. When you don't have faith, you fail. When you start to lack faith, you start to fall. Father, I bless you. When you start to lack in the faith, you start to fall. Your faith matters. God, I bless your holy name. Uh-huh. And then it don't look right. That's my faith. My faith has to go in overdrive right there. God, I thank you. When it, when it don't sound right, where's my faith at? My faith now has to go in overtime. God, I thank you. Where's your faith level at? Because they left. They left their job. Amen. To be taught how to be fishers of men. He says they immediately left their nets and followed him. Can you immediately leave all your stuff and follow him? Don't worry about how how it's going to be taken care of. Do you trust God enough to do it? Now, now let me tell you, I'm only reading the Bible. Y'all better have a prayer life. Okay? Y'all better talk to Jesus. Because I left. I left. I left. 
application insert right there yes holy ghost i left i left my job after 28 years two years before full retirement god said leave and i left oh yeah 28 years to 30 and i left yeah i did because he said leave and i did leave okay all right i'm just giving application amen so here you go now when you think i said when you don't and I, and and y'all gotta stick with me because that's off the, the the holy spirit talking to me you 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 gotta understand come sit here daughter come on come on brother roger okay because when we sit back and we think about this this faith thing when we when we fail to have a a, a dynamic uh strength in our faith then we start to fall we start to uh, uh, falter in what God has called us to do so I'm not the only one that has uh, had challenges this is a challenge a challenge with my faith amen tag share post with the people come on tag share post when you sit back and you think about this thing question on the floor what causes you to falter in your faith what causes you to uh, uh, start to doubt? What, what causes you to, to start to uh, have lack of trust in what God told you? He told you that it was going to be. But because it, didn't, it, it wasn't uh, happening right then and there, you know, now what, what, what wavered your faith? Question on the floor. Answer? Anybody? Don't look. Don't look like it should. Speak up a little bit. It doesn't look like it should. It doesn't look like it should. So, okay. You know, I have an analogy for that. God gave me a a, 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 a greater analogy for when it doesn't look good. Right? You remember what that analogy is? No. no? Good. Okay. That's good. Listen. This analogy, when God told, he, he brought in my understanding. He said, we'll look at a picture. In the picture, we, we just looking at the picture, right? But the dynamics of how that picture got there. Did we look at the artist that had to paint the picture, draw the picture? Did we look at the, 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 the one who has to manufacture that picture, put the the uh um the 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 pieces together? Amen. Do we look at that? We don't look at that, right? Um, do do we even look at the one that it, it has to go to the store? Get this. We ain't even, we we're not even in the equation yet. We're not even in the equation yet, right? We don't get into the equation until we get to the store to look at the picture. And then we say, okay, where this picture <laughs> gonna look right in my house? Right? Then we get it now. It's in our possession. We didn't went to the store. We started the process of looking at our faith. We're believing that this picture is going to fit where we think it should fit. Come on here. Talk to me. Holy Ghost. So then when you sit and you get home, you put that picture up. What did it take? It took you to take it out of the bag. First, it took you to get it out the store to pay for it. It took you to carry that picture to the car to get it in the car. It took you to get in your car to drive the picture home. It took you that you got to get the picture out the car again. You got to take the picture out the bag. You got to now measure. I mean, I, you can, if y'all, my stuff measured. I, I, you know, I don't freelance hanging up. I like it to be centered. Direction. It, it, it has to be at a certain height. Right? It has to be leveled properly. Father, I bless you. You got to have the right nail. You got to have the right tools to hang your picture. When you sit back and you think about this thing, these are all the steps that requires you to build your faith. When you sit back and now you put that picture up on the wall and that picture is looking real good. Rewind the tape on what it took for you to get that picture up there. You understand what I'm saying? So in that process, it requires you to go through the process with God. So uh, Minister Don said, it, it don't look, it don't look, it don't, it don't look right. <laughs> it don't look right. It don't look right. But if you go through the steps, eventually that picture will start to look right. Right? Have you ever bought something, brought it home and it didn't look right? Absolutely. Oh, so what did you do? You took it back. Amen. Got started all over again. Oh, Father, don't nobody want to talk to me. You got started all over again. But you got the faith to 
to believe that this didn't work right here so I'm going to take it back and prayerfully when I get there I can find something else right and, and then get this won't we go to another store oh it's just me uh guess what I'll be in Burlington they don't have it at this Burlington can you please call the Burlington or Niagara Falls to see if they got it because if they have it then I'm gonna travel over to Niagara Falls Boulevard to get what I want so I can hang it up on my wall this is the simplicity I know I'm talking in the the the, the plainness of it so you can grasp it because God said if you do my people like that if you do my word like that the very steps that I give you that's how you're going to follow and that picture is going to hang perfectly on the wall that you did design for it to go father how can you back that up Pastor Q I'm glad you asked the Bible says it says live trust Trust in the Lord, live in the land. Uh, 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 come here, come here. I'm gonna repeat it. I'm gonna repeat it good for you. I'm gonna do it good for you so you won't believe that I'm not. And then it says, You gotta do some things. You gotta do something. Come on, Holy Ghost, where's that? Here it go. It says, in uh, the vision of Psalms 37, uh, verse number three, trust in the Lord, comma, trust. There you go. There's something that you have to do. That is a command. Trust in the Lord, comma, conjunction, and do good. Semicolon. So that means that's the first step because it's a semicolon, which means you, you got to pause for a second. You got to trust in God. Then you got to do good. Semicolon. Here's the next directive. It says dwell in the land, comma, and feed on his faithfulness. Father, I bless your holy name. Okay, so uh, uh, dwell in the land. That means that you have to go about. You can't stay stuck in one place. You have to dwell in the land. Dwelling means go about. Dwelling means to broaden. Dwelling means to seek out. Dwelling means to go and see. You can't see staying in one spot. You can't see being in one church. You can't. Father, oh, don't, yeah, people don't want to talk about that. Yeah, people say, oh, I, I just go to my church. That ain't your church. You are the church. How is people going to see the church if you don't go out of the church? Lord, I thank you. Oh, we only fellowship with cogent. The devil is a liar. God, show me in the word. Teach me something. I'm willing to learn. Where did God speak about there was the denominations? Yeah, I know it was the Pharisees, the Sadducees. I know it was the Gentiles. I know, God, I bless you. I know, I know, I know it was the Jews. I know it was segregation. But he said that he died on the cross to bring humanity together. Father, I'm only teaching the word. Second, it says dwell in the land, comma, and feed on his, capital H, which means the Trinity, his faithfulness. So if God has been faithful to us, he's telling us if we feed off of his faithfulness, guess what? We will be nourished by his faithfulness. We will reproduce his faithfulness, right? And this is where we fall. This is where we fall. We start to have faith in people and not God. They mess me up. They 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 drop me. I, I used to always say they drop me. My my spiritual leaders drop me. They drop they literally God said rebuke me. Stop saying that. I, Cause I never dropped you. Father, I love you. He never dropped me. He never left me. I started to believe more in man and their capabilities and allowing me to, you know, broaden my understanding in Christ and, and the doing of his word versus uh, trusting God to show, trusting God to teach, touch, trusting God to give me the spirit of the discernment. I'm not saying that you're not supposed to trust in your leaders. Yeah, you're supposed to, but not more than you trust in God. The devil is a liar. You don't believe in your leader more than you believe in God. You don't do more for your leader than you do for God. You 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 you, you traveling uh, you 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 traveling down hell's highway if you're doing that. Okay, let me let me go. So it says um, it says uh, dwell in the land, bra and get out. Don't be afraid. Amen. It's okay. He matter of fact, he tells us to fellowship with others. Lord Jesus. Amen. And then it says and feed on his faithfulness period. This what comes with it. If you do that, verse 3, here comes a uh, 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 reward. Here comes you know uh, 
a profit from it. Verse 4 says, delight yourself in the Lord, comma, and, there go the conjunction, uh, he shall, that's the promise, give you the desires of your heart. You have to do something first. Are you delighting in God? I'm just asking the question. No, I'm not asking you, are you pimping them? Are you asking all the time? That's not delighting. Amen. God, I, you, no, you got to delight in him. What is delight? I'm glad you asked. When we delight in God, we worship him. When we delight in God, we obey him. When we delight in God, we are faithful to him. When we delight in God, we praise him. When we delight in God, we honor him. When we delight in God, we respect him. When we delight in God, come here, fear. I need to talk to you. We reverence him. When we delight in God, we 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 call him holy. For we because he holy, we holy. So if we delight in him, all the attributes, the characteristics that he has, we would have. So if you lack in something, that's because you're not delighting in him. Father, thank you for that revelation. When you lack in joy you're not delighting in God's joy when you lack in faithfulness that's because you lack it in God's faithfulness when you lack in love that's because you lack it in God's love when you lack in peace father I bless you you lack it in the prince of peace Lord I love you when you lack in healing that's because you lack it in Jehovah Rapha oh God talk to me when you lack it in prosperity he said I shall supply your every need come here Jehovah Jireh that's when you sit back when you're lacking in something that's because you're not delighting in God the way that you should what does the Bible say delight yourself also in the Lord also means you you you're supposed to delight in other things so he's giving us the option to be happy and joyful I can delight in my friendship with uh, uh, Minister Dawn and, and, and Brother Roger, and man, I can delight in my friendship with them, but uh, I better have a friendship with Jesus. Amen. 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 I, I can delight in being uh, Mary, <laughs> but I better commune with God. Father, I bless your holy name. See, you got to think about that. You got to be transparent and real. Amen. Amen. You got you to delight yourself. It says, and he shall give you the desires as of your heart. Let me get revelation right here. You know what? Many times, here you go, I'm talking to you parents that have uh, enabled your kids to do whatever they want to do. And then you take the brunt of it. Father, I thank you. It says, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. You're doing so much for other people that is fulfilling their desires, but your heart is not fulfilled. Yeah, don't nobody want to talk. Yeah, you are desiring. You give you you giving your pearls to the swine. Uh huh. Yeah, I said it. It says, delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. That's for you. Delight yourself in the Lord. Now, if you delight in yourself in the Lord, here you go. Uh, uh, so that there can be prosperity in your your uh, marriage. So that there can be prosperity in your family and your relationship with you know your kids. Prosperity of what? Sp- prosperity of restoration of loving each other. Prosperity of joy. Being able to you know be around each other. Y'all know that's a lot of family members, to include mine, that don't want to be around family members. Get, can I get an amen? amen? Amen. So when you sit back and you think about this thing right here, if we do that, right, uh, uh, I should not have to, um, and I do it. I say it's some people that can't come around because then my heart is not going to receive the desires that I want because they go cause some type of confusion. Amen. Y'all better have a spirit of discernment. Everybody can't come. Everybody can't go with you. Everybody can't hang out with you. Stop stop feeling uh uh stop being handcuffed by the spirit of guilt. Mm. Wow. You 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 hostage, you hog tied by the spirit of guilt. Amen. Well, well, we we wasn't close when we was and you still ain't close cuz guess what? The stuff that got y'all separated, y'all haven't even talked about to resolve it. I'm talking good to myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel deliberate. God, I thank you. Holy Ghost, I bless your holy name for deliverance. It says in verse 5, this and this this I'm going to my notes. Verse 5, 
it says commit your ways to the Lord comma trust get this he didn't even put a conjunction word there uh, uh, he didn't put but he didn't put and he didn't put also he put a comma which means we supposed to continue commit your ways to the Lord comma trust also in him comma and there's the conjunction he shall bring it to pass now let me deal with that real quick uh, 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 commit your ways to the Lord commit your way to the Lord excuse me your way meaning your way your way your way to the Lord what is your way what is your heart that's your way amen your way is from your heart what is your heart committing to the to the Lord and this is the problem we often say you know yes God use me but when he says I'm ready to use you your way is not there you understand what I'm saying y'all hear what I'm saying if you hear what I'm saying give me some hearts your way is not there you have now uh, uh, taken away your way to God's way amen but that's why he's saying commit your way to the Lord comma trust also in him Diggle that word also, which means you can trust in some people, right? But those people that you're supposed to be trusting in are those people that God sent you to to trust. Woo, that felt good to me right there. We will trust the, 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 the craziest people. We will trust those people that has stepped on us, wiped their feet on us, dogged us out, put their mouth on us. We'll trust them. But when God says to trust a uh, little uh, Billy Bob over there that you don't know, you going to say, no, nah, I'm not going to trust him because I don't know him. But you would rather trust somebody else that you know that means you know good. How many times you got to get burnt by the fire? Don't you got third degree burns? Ain't you getting tired of that going, uh, going to get skin grafts? Ain't, ain't, aren't you tired of that? I'm just asking the question. Aren't you tired of, you know, being walked on where to the point, you know, the rug is just worn out. It's no good. It really should be thrown in the trash, but you continue to lay there. Aren't you tired of being walked on? I'm just asking the question here. Aren't you tired of being misused and abused? Your weakness, your uh, kindness taken for weakness. I'm going to get to that too. Aren't you tired of that? I'm just asking a question. You need God. You need God. You need God. It says, uh, trust also in him, comma, and he, he, he shall bring it to pass, period. He shall bring it to pass. And don't try to uh, uh, sweet talk, bully, plead, have a temper tantrum, jump up and down, you know, caress you 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 the bible the bible the bible the bible the bible says in jeremiah 17 9 and 10 the heart is the most deceitful of all things it is desperately wicked only god knows it it says it has secret motives See, that's what it is. It's, 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 and, and he shall bring it to pass. See, oftentimes we get tired. Here you go. Come on, talk real to yourself. We get tired of waiting on God. And then we go before him and we try to bring it to pass. And it ain't got no anointing. It doesn't have any God in it. And that's why it looks, woo God, it's an imposter. It looks good, but it ain't God. God, I bless your holy name. I said it looked good, but it ain't God. I'm going to say it again. It looked right. It looked right. It looked okay, but that ain't okay. It ain't God. It ain't his righteousness. I said it, and I'm going to keep on saying Everything right ain't God's righteousness. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I taught that going back a couple of tough talks, and you'll get it. Right? So here you go. It says uh, uh, in, in verse um, 6 It says he shall bring forth Your righteousness As the light Comma And your justice as the noonday 
see uh your your righteousness your righteousness he shall bring forth your righteousness so the righteousness if you do these things if you do what if you trust in god and do good if you dwell in the land if you feed off of his faithfulness if you delight in him father i bless you if you commit your ways here you go and he had to say it again if you trust in him he had to say it twice in this verse he said if you trust in him he said he'll bring it to pass he shall not only bring it to pass but he'll bring your righteousness to the light your righteousness right so here you go i've been telling people all day long you 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 come on come on I'm, I'm gonna close this one out but i'm remember the righteousness of you the righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday you don't have to always be the defender shut up just shut up just tell yourself just say shut up right now you do not have to be the defender of everything that you say everything that you do he said that i have justified you read it for yourself romans 8 he said he justified us amen you have to understand that sometimes the things that god does is not for us to understand we are the ones that is supposed to trust god and through the process yes it's gonna sting a little bit absolutely it's go you gonna be persecuted if you're not being persecuted you ain't doing god's will come here talk to me holy ghost i said it because the bible says it if you're not being persecuted you're not doing god's will persecution comes with his will it bursts god i bless you the righteousness of god if you are not being persecuted then the righteousness of god cannot come forth what you mean pastor q i'm glad you asked when you sit back and you think about this thing i stand for the righteousness of god if you're a liar I, here come on if you're a liar i'm gonna call you out <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't doing right, come here, Ola. If they if they ain't doing right, you know what? I'm gonna pray. But you guess what? It's gonna be called to the carpet. Some gonna have to come here. Come here. I'm talking to you, Jackie. If something ain't right and God didn't show you and God didn't told you, you gotta ask God. Why'd you tell me? Why'd you show me? What I'm supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to pray? Am I supposed to fast? Am I supposed to address it? Am I supposed to just put it up on my prayer wall and leave it and? Till, oh God conviction comes upon them what am I supposed to do with this Jesus you can't just outright do it God then showed and told you on your own it's gonna come back on you the wrong way it's not God's righteousness come on here talk to me father I bless you now here you go and I'm go I'm gonna close out with verse 7 it says rest in the Lord comma and Junction word, wait patiently for him. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Okay? It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a command right there, right there, right there. It says, rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. In the Lord, not in nothing else. Oh, I'm gonna talk to myself. Sometimes uh, I, I rest in um, libation. Yeah. And when you wake up, you're still restless. Don't nobody want to talk real right here. If you was real with yourself, what have you rested, rested in? You didn't rest it in somebody else's arms that didn't mean you no good. And you wake up and you're still miserable. Father, I bless your holy name. You have rested, sitting. God, I thank you. Sitting. You've been sitting. I, I can say it myself. You are sitting tomorrow and spent all your money. Okay? And then when you get home, you, the, the bills are still waiting for you. Yeah, don't nobody want to talk to me right now. You have, you got to rest. You got to rest in God. You, I didn't rest it. <laughs> <laughs> some Oreo cookies right on my chest as I sat there and watched TV and woke up and still the same issue was bothering me because I did not rest in God I can only be real with y'all amen rest in the Lord comma and that's that conjunction which means you gotta do it it says and wait patiently for him we don't want to wait patiently for him. Here you go. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, demon. I'm coming for you. Won't we wait patiently for that Negro nigga aunt that will just do us dirty? Ah, he going to get it right. She going to finally get it right. They going to get it right. We just waiting. We hoping. We praying. We fat. That ain't it. Them ain't it. They ain't it. 
them that knows that ain't it he says wait patiently for me my kids go find yeah what are you doing what are you doing are you waiting patiently for him to do it or are you forcing it i'm just asking a question questions questions on the floor <laughs> and y'all got anything to say no minister no, okay, I'm gonna keep going. To God be the glory. Now look at this. What you say? I say amen. 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 So here you go. I need to deal with the righteousness real quick. I put this up this morning. It was bothering me real bad because of all of the the the, the bad news that's going on. Y'all gotta understand that these are the last days. Everything that is happening is supposed to happen. It's supposed to. It is ordained. It is ordained. We will be lovers of ourselves. We will be wicked. We. It, it, it says it in his word. I, I don't even have to go to that scripture. He didn't tell me to go to that scripture. But you can read it for yourself. It's in Timothy. Amen. Uh, uh, Second Timothy or first Timothy. But it's chapter three. Two and three. Right. So, okay. Here you go. It's, 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 it's Matthew 5. And it says in verse 10. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Father, I love you. I love you, God. This right here released something in me today when I was, and I don't like watching the news. I don't like your Facebook. Y'all, y'all put a whole bunch of stuff and it. Soon as I see it on Facebook, it takes me straight to his book. So God, you're going to have to talk to me because why did you have me hear this craziness? Why did you have me see this craziness? Why did I, th why did this post be the first post in my feed when I wake up after my prayer time and I come to put my morning um, mirror check on the line? Why this come up? It says, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven see in order for the righteousness of God to come forth we're gonna have to take some hits y'all and everybody not willing to take no hits so everybody ain't down for Jesus so there's some apostles amongst the land uh-huh come here I want to say it's uh Matthew Matthew 13 I know it's a three uh uh get it for me tears and wheat there you you gonna have to have a season where uh the, the the tears and the wheat come up together get this they look alike the bible says it looks alike but then come harvest it's gonna take away the tears it's good you're gonna be able to determine who's the the bad and who's the good amen this is our harvest y'all this is our harvest this is our season right now where the tears and the wheats are are is starting to be separated what you mean, Pastor Q? I'm glad you asked. Those that will will come, uh, uh, the doors of the church is opening. Oh, we've been on, we've been on. Uh, so w w what's that called? We've been streaming. We ain't opening the doors of the church. The devil, the devil, that's the devil, all day long. If he shut us down to get in his face, he never meant for us to get into a place that we would never want to go back to the house to worship. That ain't his purpose. That is not God's purpose. Y'all sitting up there believing the hype and y'all didn't got, oh, Jesus, talk, help me. Help me. Y'all didn't got here. God shut it down. He shut us down for the purpose of us to personally get before him so that he can personally talk to us. He took away the job so it wouldn't be, I got to work doubles. He took away all the schooling. No, get your house in order. Get your people, your house, your house together to pray with him. Oh God, to worship him authentically. You, you don't have a pastor to call. You got God to call on in your house. You got the altar set up in your house or do you I'm just asking a question when you sit back and you think about this he never shut the house of worship down the house of prayer down for us not to enter back in no y'all that's sitting there that's talking about I'm good with streaming that's a demon I'm calling it out use a demon God says that you will not forsake the assembly of his of, of us he, no he ain't never said in the assembly hey us watching on tv because i guarantee you you'll sit there put the the, the the church 
service on and you'll walk away and you up in there cooking you washing clothes uh-huh talk to me i know it to be so you sitting there uh-huh yeah yeah, I said it because God said it. It says you have to do it. This is righteousness sake. I know I'm going to be persecuted every time I get on for Tough Talk Tuesday. People inbox me. They say something. They can pass the cue. You is a little bit mean. No, I meant what I said. I wasn't mean. I meant what I said, okay? I mean what I say because this is what God's word says. Y'all better get it. Y'all better get it together. Y'all better stand up for righteousness all day. I don't want to rock the boat. You in the boat, dummy. Is you going to get off the boat? Uh, amen. Or you going sink uh, I'm just asking the question here you cannot you you when the boat come here Paul when the boat crashed Paul was able to get uh pieces and some of them uh, swam the, to, to, to shore God ain't destroying us like that some of us is grabbing on to pieces and, and swimming to shore come on here Jesus everybody was on the boat Jesus called Peter out. Them people ain't, uh, the Bible don't say they was cheering Peter on. They looked. Okay? Go on out there if you want to, Peter. <laughs> but ain't this something? God called his name. Can God call your name and trust you to get out of the boat and walk on water? Can he trust you? I'm, I'm one, I, yeah, I'm coming. And see, he gave us an example when Peter took his eye off of him. You know, that's when it started to be a little rocky for Peter, right? Take your eyes and stay focused on Jesus and don't look the other way. Because God gave us an example of what can happen when we take our eyes off of Jesus. We'll start to sink. Lord have mercy. Okay? Y'all y'all get you, you got it? Matthew 13. I told you. Uh, 24. Okay, Matthew... Um, 24 24 Matthew 20 Matthew 13 chapter 13 24 I ain't gonna read it all but that is the parable of the wheat and the weeds the wheat and the tares you got you have to and I want you to read all of chapter 13 because it, it explains very clearly the difference between the good and the evil and how we have to grow together with evil do you understand what I'm saying you gotta grow with evil Evil is always present. But if you truly understand the power and authority of God, he's greater than the evil. God, I bless your holy name. When you sit back, it, it, it says, it says, I'm just going to read a little, um, a little portion of it. It says the parable, right? Uh, the hidden treasure. Um, this is the one. Mm. I want to say. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm just going to say this part. It says, here is another uh, story Jesus told. And I'm, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. But that night, as the workers with the nest slept, comma, his enemy came and planted weed, uh, weeds with the nest. So it's multiple uh, weeds among the wheat, comma. Then... <clears throat> slipped away so he was sneaky he's conniving he's he's not the one that's up in your face in this story right so you got to understand that the the enemy is gonna sneak in some of your stuff he gonna sneak in he ain't gonna announce himself to be there he gonna plant some things he gonna plant some people he go yeah plant some people he gonna plant some things that's why you need a discerning spirit because everybody ain't good ain't god okay everybody good ain't god yeah i said it and i'm gonna say it again okay you, you sit back it says when the crop began to grow and produce grain the weeds also grew okay when the crop began to grow and produce grain the weeds also grew so if, if we was to go back to uh, Psalms 37 it tells us in verse 1 it said don't fret about evildoers don't worry about them amen they go grow too but it's gonna come a harvest day it's gonna come a harvest day it says what the fire uh, the farmers workers went to him and said sir the field where we where you planted that good seed is full of weeds explanation point so he was he was loud with it he was bold he was demanding amen so you 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 gotta be you gotta be bold with this thing when you identify that that's a demon you gotta say yo 
That's a demon. Father, I bless you. Oh God. So when it says, it says, and the five, and he says, sir, where you planted uh, the good uh, seed is full of weed. Explanation point. Where did they come from? Comma. Lack of understanding. Lack of knowledge. Lack of discernment. But it's a good question. So when you don't understand, when you have, the, you don't discern, when you don't uh, have the knowledge, you have to ask a question. Amen. Questions are good. That's why I always ask them. Thank you, Jesus. It says an enemy has done this. Uh, the farmer says. So now you have to. There it go again. The enemy has done this. The enemy. Who is the enemy? The adversary. Who is the adversary? Satan. Who is Satan? That's a demon. So you need to identify who that demon is. Everybody's scared to call a demon out. That's why the demon like to go to and fro who he can devour. He eating up saints because saints won't identify. They scared to speak up. Father, it, don't play with Pastor Q because I'm calling you out. Amen. When they sit back and you see it say right here, it says, should we pull out the weeds? Question mark. Question mark. It's question. When you have lack of understanding, when you have lack of knowledge, when you have lack of discernment, you ask a question. Amen. Just don't do it because you think it's the right thing to do because everything right ain't righteous. This wasn't the time to pull it out. I'm going to prove my point through the word of God. It says, should we pull out the weeds? They asked, no. He replied, comma, you'll uproot the wheat if you do. There is a reason why good people, good seed, got to grow up with the weed. If you pull it out too soon, you might pull out the wrong one. Father, oh, it's called discernment. I got the scripture. I'm going to back that up. I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back it up. Amen. Let me let me help y'all. It says, um, it says, no, he replied, you'll uproot the wheat if you do. Uh, it says, let both grow together until harvest period let both grow together so there's a time when you have to grow with the evil father yeah talk to me holy ghost there's a season when you're going to have to grow with the evil now guess what seasons change don't think that just because this is your season to grow up with the uh the the, the liar that next season is gonna be it's gonna be the the cheater mm. it's still a season of evil you figure, everybody figure, once I get, get over this one season of dealing with this evil person, this evil place, this evil thing, amen, I'm done for the rest of my life. No, honey, I'm here to tell you that another trial is going to come. Another demon is going to come. It ain't just one. And you might be uh, trustworthy enough by God mm -hmm. to have to deal with four demons at a time. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I'm talking good to myself. So when you sit back and you think back and it, it, it says right here, you uh, should we pull out the weeds? Question mark. They asked. No, he replied. You'll uproot the wheat if you do, period. Let both grow together until harvest time, period. Then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, comma, tie them into bundles comma and conjunction burn them comma and another conjunction to put the wheat in the barn come on here y'all you need God you need him you need him to be able to discern are you the wheat or are you the tear you need him because some of us let's be real here some of us is dealing with a weed mentality because of what we've known to be church and not the relationship with God. Father, I love you. When you sit back, we I have a weed mentality because this is the way I was taught by man and it does not align with God's word. This is a weed mentality when we say that it's a division in the body of Christ because we don't fellowship together. Father, help me up in here. It is a weed mentality. A weed mentality. When you do not, oh God, when you have a spirit of territorial. Hmm. The, uh, the my people. 
The Bible tells us not to lord over the people. Them my people. That's the, the, really? Them God's people. And if God, I thank God for my overseer. I thank God for yeah, his ability, yeah, yeah. oh God, to discern that it is a call upon the true saints of God to go out and minister. I'm going to go back to my first scripture. Okay. It says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. See, you need a leader to teach you how to surrender to God, to submit to leadership so you can serve the people. Father, I bless your holy name. When you sit back and you think about this thing right here, you have to understand that your discernment also uh, leads to your leadership. If your leadership got you hog tied, if they got your whole tie and is keeping you from ministering as God has called you, you need to really pray and ask for a spirit of release to a, a vineyard that is going to help you grow. And that's no disrespect to no pastor. You got to understand that this may be the harvest season that uh, uh, it's time for them to be plucked up and put into a new barn. Don't nobody want to talk to me right now. Uh huh. You don't. You don't always stay in that field. You got to be plucked up and put into the barn so it can be used somewhere else. Lord, I bless you. Uh. So let me let me tell y'all this. What time is it? Oh, yeah. nine oh seven. Oh, it's nine oh seven. Lord, that feel good. Don't that feel good, y'all? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna give y'all the scripture. I'm gonna give y'all the scripture. I'm gonna give y'all the scripture. Right. Lord, I thank you for the deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you 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 have to um, understand this. Um, First John four and one, and I'm closing with this. First John, I thank you guys for for hanging with me. I I, I didn't even know. I didn't even have a time check. Amen. We was just flowing. It says First John, uh, verse four. It tells us, it says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. For false, uh, for many false prophets have gone out unto the world. Right? Christian faith is not uh, spiritually uh, gullible. Your Christian faith should not be gullible. I'm going to say that again. Your Christian faith should not be gullible. How you say that, Pastor Q? I'm glad you asked. You got to try that spirit by the spirit. Amen. You got to understand where God's spirit is. Amen. You got to make sure that this is what God has said for you to see and do. Amen. So here you go. The unseen spiritual uh, uh, unseen spiritual influences that guides people's speech and act actions can be tested here you go by observing their conduct as well as by the gift of spiritual discernment amen read first corinthians 12 and, and chapter 12 um and chapter 14 this right here you have to understand you got to observe people you got to watch people you got to you got to see how they live it you just can't jump on the bandwagon and say, yo, they, they, they fame and fortune. Yeah, yeah, because when you get behind the curtain, when you get behind closed doors, you're going to see the hellions that come out of that. Amen? Jesus. Try the spirit. It says, false prophets are people who claim to speak for God, but are actually speaking of a demonic influence. If you don't believe me, read 1 John 4. In today's age of tolerance, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a tolerance. Discriminating uh, discernment can be viewed as being judgmental. I'm going to say that again. We have tolerated such a discrimination of a discernment because we are judging people. Your judgment on people don't give you the spirit of discernment. Okay? Yeah. Y'all want to talk to me? And we've tolerated it. We tolerated it too long. Too, everybody has a struggle. Everybody has a vice. 
everybody is dealing with something ain't no perfect person so don't think that you ain't struggling with nothing come on here holy ghost convict they heart right now everybody is struggling with something they're struck they're, they're challenged with something because no god said there's no perfect man if you fail to admit that you are you have some sin that you you just sin because everybody has a sin amen so that that, you, that, that judgment that judgment you might have a foul mouth cussing all over the place. Uh huh. You you still might have that 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 everybody. Oh, weed weed is is legal now. Go ahead. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. That's gonna be a question I'm asking Jesus. I'm still dealing it. <laughs> it's legal. It's 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 prescribed. Oh, you can you can walk around with a couple of ounces on you. That's gonna be another talk. I ain't going to leave that, so I'm still studying it because I got to come back with scripture. Y'all, this has been real. You need God. Just remember, you need God. You got you got to have him in your life. You got to have him. No matter, what, no matter how, what it looks like, no matter what it sounds like, no matter who says it, what, what, what's going on, you got to stay focused on God. If you don't stay faithful to him, you're going to fail. That's it. Ain't, ain't no way around it. You got to have a faith in him. You got to have a trust that's so deep, so deeply rooted. That when harvest time comes, you going to be identified as the, the, the wheat and not the weed. Because growing up, yeah, we all look alike. But come harvest time, there should be a distinction. And the distinction is, guess what? I need God. And because I need him, I'm going to trust him. Because I trust him, I'm going to believe in him. Because I believe in him, I'm going to have faith in him. And because I have faith in him, I'm going to wait on him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I know you can do it, Lord. I ask that you truly, truly take the consideration and sow a seed into Divas for Christ. This entire month of July, all Tough Talk Tuesdays is going to our youth revival, y'all. It's going to our youth revival. If you have youth, hear me well. You got youth. I'm having a youth revival. I'm going to do a promo, but I'm just letting y'all know. Give me your youth. I'm going from first grade, first grade to 12th grade. So this is the time where you, you, you drop your little uh, seven-year-old off, okay? Three days. They got to come three days. Registration is $20, but guess what? I have people that's, reg that's donating registration. I need your youth. I need your youth. It's going to be July 29th and 30th. That is going to be our teaching. Get this. The police officers, the firefighters, mental health, um, um, uh, uh, workshops, uh, uh, a whole bunch of people is going to come um, and talk to our youth for 10 minutes. They go cycle it. We go feed them. We're going to feed them a good meal. Amen. They go have pizza and wings. They go have Subway sandwiches. They go have grilled hot dogs all three days. We go be feeding them, right? And then we go break and they go get a word from Pastor Mark Rice Jr. from Atlanta. He coming to teach our youth, to pour into our youth, y'all. So come on, y'all I gotta send me your youth 716-578-1718 give me your youth and then saturday we gonna have a fun day we playing three on three we got some uh council members it's gonna be one adult get this one adult and two kids playing basketball relay racing our you if y'all really want to be about this change talking about our community then be about it be the difference amen don't talk about it be about it I need you. I'm asking for you to contact me to register your youth for this youth revival. Amen. I'm just going to ask uh, Brother Roger, just let the church say amen. Amen. We're going to close out with a song. Father, we bless your holy name for all that you have done, all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. Allow this word, this teaching, oh God, your word, oh Father, to actually penetrate our heart, embed it, oh God, and allow it to be within us, oh God, as we go about this thing called life. Not just today, but through our life, oh God. Let us know, oh Father, that we need you in everything that we do. Every way that we think, oh God. Everything that we do, oh Father. Every word that, oh God, comes out of our mouth. Let it be you. Thank you 
for teaching us to be fishers of men. Yes, oh God, yes, we'll follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Roger. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Now let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Now let the church say amen. Amen, everybody. Talk amen. Talk Tuesday with Pastor Q, Divas of Christ Incorporated. See you next Tuesday. Hit me up. Hit me up. Looking for your youth. Love you.